yes. Oh, yeah, before I said, I said, uh, although you can hardly read anything in the Bible that is literal, it's all figurative, symbolic, spiritual, uh, you know, allegories and, and metaphors and similes and personifications and types and signs and, yeah. But, although what it says is not what it means most of the time, you know, if your right hand offends you, cut it off. No, you don't cut that. That's not what Christ meant to cut the hand. He meant cut out of your heart whatever it is that makes you want to steal or stick your hand where it shouldn't go. It's a spiritual thing. And all those people that say it's literal, 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 I write them back emails. I say, do you still have all your arms and legs and your eyes? And if you tell me you do, I know that you don't believe the Bible is literal. Don't tell me you believe the Bible is literal. You're lying through your teeth. But here's the point I want to make. But Jesus never used an allegory or a metaphor or a symbol or a sign or a parable that wasn't true. They're all true. They just don't mean what they say. Okay? You have to have a pure spiritual perception. Now, God, some, sometimes Paul, uh, Christ told us what the parable meant. It didn't mean what he said, because he tells us what it meant, and it didn't mean what he said. If it meant what he said, they wouldn't have had to ask him what it means. It's just... And yet, Paul crouches the sun gets into the east God, God, Christ is talking to little, little, little stories about farmers and sea, so that the people could understand with their simple little minds. Nonsense. But not only do the people understand, the disciples didn't understand. And if you how many of you read twelve points to understanding God's truth? Not every you gotta read that. That's, that's that's there's a lot in that paper. Not only didn't they understand the parable, but when Christ explained the parable, they didn't understand the explanation. And do you know how Christ oftentimes explained the parable? With another parable. <laughs> People don't get that. Why? Because they don't pay attention to the words. They don't believe that the words that God wrote in this book are true. They don't pay attention to all the words. So when he says, well, they said, Lord, tell us about the sower and the seed. What's that all about? He says, well, the, the, uh, the, uh, the world is the field. Or the, the field of the field is the world. You know, and the, and the sower of the good seed, that's Christ, and the seed, the Son of Man, and the seed is the Word. And some falls upon, you know, man accepts it readily, and some is like it falls in a stony place, and it like sprout up a little bit, it has no root, so the sun comes out, and then it dies off, and you know. The analogy is true. That's what happens when you sow seed. Some falls in the good ground, some falls on the other side of the Macadam Road, some falls right on the Macadam Road. That isn't going to grow. The analogy is true. But he's not talking about farming. He has nothing to do with farming. It has to do with the Word of God and how it's accepted by men and seen and perceived and all of that. That's what it's about. But he used the story so that nobody would understand. So what I, I want to make that clear. Although the Bible seldom says what it means, it always means what it means. And the, and the analogies that it gives are always true. They just have a different representation. So that only the wise understand. Sorry, but that's the way it is. The wise shall understand. Go your way, Daniel. Seal up the book till the time of the end. Men shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. But the wise shall understand these things. The wise. Okay.